Hey guys, Drew Thakush Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we went to Lubbock just to sit down with the customer, hang out with him. But on the way, we ended up getting to stop by Preacher Bills in Midland, Texas. And we ended up talking with them, having a good time, but also picking up some coins, showing you guys, you know, the prices that we paid, but also what we see as comps and how we could start to make a profit um, when we go to resell them. A lot of people want to know how to become a coin dealer. And obviously, it's just a lot of driving, a lot of understanding what coins sell and trade at, and what you can make a profit on, how much money you have to put out, things like that. So the last time we were in their shop, they told us, hey, we just don't feel comfortable with you filming, and that was completely fine. And then we ended up meeting Preacher Bill at uh, a Pew Pew show. If you don't know what that is, look it up. And... You know, he wanted to sell some coins, very nice guy, and so we made a video about doing an interaction with him, and I think four or five of his friends ended up sending him the video of him just doing business with us, and so now this is our second time going into a shop, and we got to interact, talk with people, film as much as possible, and he cut us some good deals. So if you guys are ever in Midland, Texas, go to Preacher Bills. But this is the coolest thing that we found on our way to um, Lubbock. We stopped in a place in Midland and they ended up selling us this GSA Morgan Dollar. This is uh, what we found. So this is an 1885 CC Morgan Dollar. It's graded uh, MS66 star. And we wanted to talk a brief moment about it. So when I looked at the, the coin in the case, it actually had an 81 GSA little certificate here, COA. And so I was confused by that at first. And then when they showed me the coin, I was like, man, this thing is a beast. And for them, they were asking, I think, $150 over gray sheet bid. They're like, oh, it's nice. It's toned. It's got a star on it. And what we've realized about kind of the toning market, especially with GSAs, especially this higher grade, is that they demand a big premium. And so we ended up buying this coin and we ended up selling it to one of our customers that we met that night. And so it's just a fantastic, cool Thing to show you guys. How you doing today? Sir? More young man. Hey, long time it's no been a see. Minute. Yes, yes it's been. Yes, from Houston. Yeah. That's right. You mind if I film a little bit you around the may shop? this time. I appreciate it. It's, hey, hey, Garrett. This is a young fella from Houston that filmed. Uh, hold one second, Garrett. How you doing? Howdy. And, uh, and so yeah, so you can uncover some of this, and there's appreciate lots it. of new stuff. That cool. You see. Especially Wonderful. if you're in the fam, silver dollars graded. Okay. I put them all at bid. And Wonderful. I can, I can work with you. So yeah, there's more it. in the safe. There's some right out there. Just sold them. Has he been in, Sean, to pick up some of the ones that he wanted this morning? Uh, Sean came in yesterday. Yeah, I got some wanted. yesterday. Uh, don't pick up some yesterday. Cool. All right. Hey, you're on. You go hey, for it. Appreciate it. Uh huh. Hey, good to see you. Howdy. How you been? Good. Grand. Grand. That's good to hear. Wants to buy some more. This should keep them busy for a little, for a little while. And these might too. <laughs> you might get the price on this one for me. Of course. And you want my? Let me get my other bitch. Oh, you, or do you have the new one? Which one do you have there? Ooh. Yeah. I have the April. April. Actually, I think the back's got the sheen. The toning kind of hides it. Yeah, it kind of makes it a little bit more hazier. But it's bit. nice. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Three S. Sixty-three. I'm showing a price of 130 bid, but I'll do a 120 for you. That sounds good. Works for me. How long have you guys been in the the shop? Just uh. uh in this location? Yeah. 2000. I think he's been here about 2018. Oh, cool, man. He had a place before this on Midkiff that he would set up at, and he'd also set up between the walls on Big Spring, plus all the gun shows. Then uh, he's had a store in Pueblo and in Lubbock and another place, too. Wow. He's been doing it for a long time. That's great. So he likes driving. He does. <laughs> what are your thoughts on this bullion market that we're in right now? Uh, for a silver? Gold, gold and silver. Okay, I actually think gold is actually where it needs to be. Actually, gold could be a little higher. I think silver is the one that's highly undervalued. 
realistically, the way we pull it out of the ground, one to sixteen, with gold being about twenty four hundred, I mean silver should be about one hundred forty, one hundred fifty an ounce, and it's not been thirty yet. And I know it's because of how they sell it on paper, and it keeps it held down really well. I guarantee, though, if Warren Buffett was to say, "Hey, give me the billion dollars worth of silver I've bought," they'd be trying to buy it from anybody and everybody, and it would be over fifty dollars an ounce, probably. Would you be able to do forty-five on that one? That one's bid forty-five spit on that coin. Uh, if you want to double check. Mine. Yes, I can. Sometimes Daniel price is a little different. Okay, I just wanted to. Double Full bill lines, a 49D and a 63. Oh, it's not even on here. That's why he just came up with a number. What were you showing? Uh, 45. So the I'll one on. Yeah, the one 42. on. 42. Okay. I'll give that a shot. Okay, if you need Daniel, call him, please. Hey, for, good to see you again. Uh, you should need Daniel. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy y'all. It's a pleasure, my friend. Good. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. sure yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll try making it out to the gun show if oh. we can't. Hey, great. We'll see you next yeah. time. Uh, we'll be at Lubbock this weekend. Um, and it's a good show. Okay. It's a really good awesome. show. And there's about uh, three, four, about four other coin dealers there. Oh, not so bad. That might, yeah, one of them's a small vest pocket dealer from uh, Brownwood, and he does really good prices. So, okay. Yeah, because I buy a little. 26. This bid's for 88. I'll do 80. Sounds good to me. You have a personal collection? or I do. It, yeah, if it's, you got to have one, you know. So my my rarest paper currency is probably I got a really nice graded 1771 five shillings. Okay. And then I got a 1778 five dollars right after the revolution. I kind of I'm trying to just kind of you know go based on the year like that, which I'm missing quite a bit still. It's, it's a long time. Takes a while. That. Yeah, but it's it's coming along. I'm more addicted to Morgans I think than anything though. Yeah. Especially proof likes and dimples. Yeah, the nice flashy ones. Bill always gets me. He's like, you want to be paid this week? And I'm like, what do you got? Let me do see. Do I this. have to? Do I have to get paid? Uh, sometimes he'll come in with something, and I'll see, and I'll be like, before I even ask, I'm like, what do you want for that? And he'll go, you can make payments. I'm like, never mind. You yeah. can make payments. <laughs> That's how he said it. Once he said that, I was like, yeah, it's beyond my pay grade. All right, guys, I want to take a quick break in this video and show you guys a few cool coins that we have posted right now on kooshcollectibles.com. This is as the video airs, so it's fresh inventory for you guys. These are purchases from the second day of the Longview Show and this trip. Here's a cool uh, little key date, 1950 Franklin Half Dollar. Proof 64, CAC approved. Definitely never can go wrong with that. People love these a lot. Here's a... I'm sorry, 1900 Barber Half. Nice toning. Got that from the show as well. Fresh collection that came in for a different dealer. He ended up letting us buy that coin. 1907 Indian Headset MS64 Red Brown CAC. Really cool coin. Nice color to the coin as well. If you take a few little looks back here. Some nice type coins. And a, a nice little Star 82S Morgan Dollar. And uh, yeah, just some cool coins if you guys want to check them out. We'll make sure to uh, have that link in the description below. Yeah, if you don't mind watching them for me until they come back. Twenty six. Twenty six. Okay, I got. Tw I got that for sure, and I can buy a little bit more. <laughs> If you want to stick around, I'm sure that whenever they're done, they'll give me a little bit more funds. Yeah, I'm going to give you there. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, And if you want, you can just come back in this afternoon. I guarantee I can do it. Should be up to you. Well, I don't know if I'll make it back. I'll show you. All right, I'll back. So this is now null and void. I can destroy this. Mm -hmm. And right now, actually, it's in your favor. Actually, it went down a little bit. Uh, no. It's actually currently flat. It was up 10 bucks yeah, this morning, though. I know. Yeah, it's going to be 35 back. Right? Uh, 20, uh, 25 actually. Yeah. 25. I'll do uh, 
Twenty-three fifty-seven. Four. Let me just get you seven. Back okay. Thank you. I should be able to get you taken care of, buddy. Yes, sir. How can I help you? It's a collection you were wanting to sell, I guess? Yep, again. Looks like it's all here. Well, actually, it shows this hundred was marked off. Well, no, because I just, uh, I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it or sell it. Okay, but see, it's not added into the price, I don't think, is it? No, he took it off because I wasn't sure if I was going to sell a hundred dollar bill, but I wasn't sure. Okay. In there for sure. Uh, let me look. Hey, do y'all like errors like this? Don't really have customers for these, sadly. Yeah. Those mean. double, those 55 double die things, those, you know, <laughs> half a bit works great, you know. <laughs> Needs to be graded or something, maybe? Who knows? Uh, it, you guys send in a lot for grading anyway? To be honest, I do and I don't. I don't know if it would go a five. I see just a little slight wear on that hair there. I don't think it's worth sending. But it is worth packaging. I know that. Yeah, it looks like a nice four to me, you know? Four to a three, depending on what they call. I mean, that, there is a little slight wear on that hair right there. I don't know why. But I don't think it was circulated at all. I think it was just maybe sliding around the bags. Yeah, with, with the face is real clear. With New Orleans, yeah, I mean they're they're just uh, they didn't switch out those the, the dies too often, yeah, so know. it's just softer on the on the high points, which makes it tougher for gem and all that. You know, would it be possible to check on these when you mm -hmm. have a second? Just the the gold. I don't even know what these metals are, but I might try to have fun with them. Who knows? O one S. At a 65 plus. That sucker's up there. I'm showing at a 4. It's 15.90, and at a 5, it's 23.40. Mm -hmm. But it's a plus, so it's probably closer to 26, give or take. Let me see. Let me ask him real quick. It might be better. Well, because uh, depending on what he has in it, he might be able to do a little better anyway. So, uh, Quick question, sir. You have a 01S MS65 Plus. The MS65 is going for 2340 What are you wanting out of that coin? Will you take 2450 That's fine. He said that's fine. 2450 What are you doing, buddy? What you doing, buddy? Anyway, so we ended up getting these cool ANA slabs in the mail recently. Wanted to give you guys a little bit of behind the scenes of just what we get to handle on a daily basis. So people really love soapbox holders, but they also really love companies in soapbox holders. So the ANX 
slabs, which is just the paper basically that differentiates the Annex versus the ANA. I believe the ANA uh, grading company sold their company to Annex and they just used the same exact holders but just switched out the paper. You can see that where it says ANA official grading uh, behind there. And this one says Annex. And when you flip it over, you can see Annex on the back. And this one has kind of a genie lamp or a gold kind of translucent looking piece of paper back there. But over time, you can see these coins, uh, they actually become very collectible. People really love the holder. It's kind of like a Rattler or an NGC thick holder by today's standards. But being able to buy a whole group of these offering you guys is pretty cool just because a lot of them have some good characteristics to them, good look to them. I like this 99O, I believe, in MS62. Beautiful rainbow, uh, just getting onto the rim of the coin. A lot of these coins, ended up actually getting rim toning over time in the holders so that's pretty interesting and unique but just a little bit of like I said behind the scenes there should be a little wiggle room on that price I appreciate it brother well we like to be fair too everybody needs to make a little or else there's no point just, just really like them like me just the I river buy, I buy so much that Probably, but. Yeah, it's tough to run a business when you want to keep it. You know, it's, it's a hard part. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it's a uh, bittersweet. Well, realistically, the stuff I'm buying now, if I say Tom Bill's age, I will have retard on my collection for sure. Yeah. I just gotta be patient and just keep buying. Don't sell unless you got to. That's the rule. Yeah, that's a good point. What do you need on this uh, 2011? Oh, it's a metal, actually. That's not going to be in my modern commemoratives, even. Don't think so. No, it's some won't. special. Uh... It is. What do you think's fair? It's the 911 National Metal First Strike, which I really don't increase it that much, in my opinion. But it is a good 70 deep cam. Um, obviously, going to be an ounce of silver, probably 90 percent. I'm at like 30 bucks on that. Uh, they sell for about 42, 40 on eBay. So. I'll do that for you. Okay. Do you know what your best might be on this one? I think yeah, we might be too far, but I wanted to ask it. Because I just saw one sell for like 90 bucks on eBay, but I think we might be too far. I would do best probably 95. I bet he'll probably have close to that in there. It'd be kind of like a wash. Would you mind checking on this one for me as well? Of course. Appreciate it. 1862. You are a type 3. Bids for 343. I'll do, uh, I'll do 310 on it. Sounds good to me. Yep. Yeah, works for me there. Actually, I'd do 90 on it. I'd match what it sold on eBay for, but then you still may not be able to really make money on it. If that helps you guys out, then I can do it. That's fine. Would you like a seat, sir? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Here's that for you. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Thanks. Three degree change is not good for anybody's sinuses, no. but no, that water is good. <laughs> Do you know what the best price might be on this one? I think that's a bid on it. But is that bid? Yeah, if that is, then I, you guys better check. hold on to it. I'll double check for you to make sure. So a 59 being uh, XF45 is still 130. I'll do uh, 117 would be 90% off, but I'll do 115. I'll give it a shot. Let's do it. A lot of the other CCs are over there with that gentleman right now. He's doing a stream with it and just showing it. That's I don't cool. think they'll sell, really. That's all right. Do you know what your best price might be on this one? Hmm. I think I can do uh, 120 on it. I'll give it a shot. 
If you like just loose ones too, I do got quite a few you can go through. Sure. And uh, you know, greatest objective. If there's something that you want to say, hey, I don't agree with this. I always look at it and double check, and I like to be very conservative. Normally, if I grade something, I go a grade below what I really think it is. So that way, if you do send it off, it's what I said, if not better. I'd rather be that way than vice versa. Yeah, and then it's easier to move it too. You know. Do you mind checking on these for me, brother? Appreciate it. A two C C A G probably two to one. <laughs> that might actually come back a poor one, maybe. Lucky you. I've got a few poor ones. It's actually kind of a good market for them. Yeah. Because they're actually so rare. Tell me what a, uh, an AG2 price pops up as, please, sure. if you don't mind. That little uh, bar that says year of the dog, is that a one-out? Because I'll do it as an AG2, and I'll even do 10% back of that. Okay. All right, cool. This must be the rest of the gold that was supposed to come in. <clears throat> So here's a, AG2. AG2. It is. One? 100? 100 bucks, yep. I'll do a 90. All right, works for me. Sounds good. There's that one. That one's just a little uh, little shiny, but that's the way it goes. 90 CC. You don't think that's been cleaned? <laughs> it's been cleaned, yeah. Because when it looks that white, that low grade. It's well, it's just the color of it, too. Yeah. It just, just should never look that shiny, that low grade. Oh, yeah, that's horrible. It's just a good, it actually was close to a VG, but it's a good, and so since it's a good cleaned, we'll do a, we'll just do an AG4 price. I would do a 80 bucks on it. Sure. I think that's a steal. But it is a clean coin too. I'm showing a grand total of 65.95. What are five? I don't know what you guys would be asking for it, but I... Uh, I don't know what's the best I could do, but I could call the Boston real no, fast uh, and kind of bug him to ask what's the best hotel. Yeah, you, if that's if fine, yeah, if you want to. That yeah, we'll take a second. It might be way out of my league with that. But. Hey, you have a $500 bill uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, a, a BG. You have it at $1,250. What's the best I could do on that? It, I mean, it is pretty rough looking. He said he gave 1000 for it, and he'd do 11 if you want. Thanks for letting me know. I probably can't, but I, it's just too slim for me. So. Let me do Yes, sir. All right, bye-bye. Yes, I knew I had a better one, I thought, in there. That's a nice one. Thanks for showing me, brother. No I need to get more into paper, but appreciate you letting us buy some stuff, brother. Well, no problem at all. I'm glad y'all came in. I missed y'all last time. I happened to have the flu last time, apparently. But they told me about it, and then uh, all my buddies, they were like, we watched him. I'm like, really? And they're like, yeah, we watched him. I was like, huh. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the interactions that we had. Did you enjoy those? Subscribe. We have videos coming out every single week. We want you guys to be a part. We'll see you guys in the next video.